So, brief history. This building was built for one plate only. It was, it was the, the mission plate. Those of you who saw, and I saw somebody taking a picture of him up in the lobby, a bronze bust right in the middle, that's John Stephen McGordy. He wrote the mission play. It was a four-hour play based on the founding of the California mission. Now, I like to tell the kids when they come through for the tours, you know, I say it's a four-hour play, and they'll, oh, four hours. Like, yeah, come on. You guys can sit in front of a video game for eight hours, and it doesn't bother you. Don't even, don't even go there. But in 1927, what was there to do? Right? You got to watch the grass grow, you listen to the radio, housework, you know. So, uh, it, was, it was quite a long play, but this building was built only for one play, if you can imagine. It seems pretty crazy, but, uh, but it was built for that play. The original Mission Playhouse was over across from the old San Gabriel Mission. Uh, there's a Plaza Park that's over there. There's a fountain uh, and a lot of restaurants. That was where the original Mission Playhouse was. But they had a big problem over there. Of course, the play was four hours, but what were they right next to? Yeah, the mission, but the railroad tracks. 1927, they had the great big steam locomotives. And several times during the play, here comes the train. They all have trees, wait for the train, wait for the train, and they go on. So finally they decide, you know, this play is really popular, it's, it's not waning in the audience, so let's build a real theater. So in 1921, they started construction on this theater here. Now, it took them until March of 1927 to get it open because it was privately funded, they kept running out of money, they'd have to stop, everybody got other jobs, then they get the money, you know. So finally, March of 1927, it opened. Sadly, the play only ran here in this building for like two and a half years after it was opened. Uh, and then it was, it was just basically shut down and vacant. In 1945, it was set to be demolished. And a couple local area newspaper photographers, Larry Dot Bartlett, who did uh, photos for all the Valley newspapers and you know, such, they heard about it and they said, no, it's not going to happen. So they literally, like out of a Hollywood movie, they were out there standing in front of the wrecking ball rolled up. And, uh, long story short, in 1945, the citizens of San Gabriel, they had to put it to them twice. The first time, they said they voted not to purchase it. The second time, uh, we just found out by some recent documents, now I've been here since 79, and I just found this out, that it, the day that word got out that World War II was over, was the day of the local election. And the, the, the everybody must have been in a good mood because they voted for $160,000 in 1945 that the city would purchase this building. So we kind of lucked out. You know, the end of World War II was a good thing, but it also, I think, worked out really well for us here because they probably said no a second time because, you know, it was war and everybody was running. So the city has owned and operated the building since 1945. It is decorated in what is called the, the uh, Urban California Mission style. It has uh, elements of Navajo, Indian, Mayan, uh, and made up. There's some stuff up there that is, is really just up there because it's free. Uh, in in 1995, after several earthquakes, the 87, the 89, we had the whole ceiling completely restored. And Evan Wilson, the gentleman, did it. Uh, yeah, I asked him, I said, okay, so are these really Navajo Inc. and Mayan symbols? He said, some of them are, but some are just for fun. He called me up one day, he said, come here, I'm gonna show you something, come here. And I gotta find him again, because I've lost track of him, but up under the balcony, he pointed, there's four to leave. You know, the French four to leave are up under the yeah, uh, Maybe that was an, an old Indian symbol at one time, I don't know. The tapestries on the side were given to the building by the king of Spain, King Alfonso, at the time of its opening. They're bronze, silver, uh, brass, thread, woven into wool. They've been up there ever since. They've not been taken down. They have been cleaned in place. The lights on the side are uh, uh, reproductions of the Spanish galleon. Uh, lights used to hang on the back. Fortunately for me, we have an avatar in the Caribbean movies because for a long time, Spanish guy, Parts of the Caribbean. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, know, you gotta have to work with what you have. Uh, the, uh, the box seats are, are European opera style box seats. Uh, we call them the best seats to be seen from, but not the best seats to see from. Because they're off the, at the sides, and you can see off into the wings and the dancers standing there.
uh, pretty much anybody have any questions about anything that you see up there? Yes, some of you will see, they're up there somewhere, there's one right there. Uh, is There is a reverse swastika that we have, but you get all, all nuts about it. If you see the center window in the, in the spot booth, and then the little window, which is our projection, right? Keep going up, there's the first beam, come towards the second beam, right in the middle of that second beam. Is, is uh, uh, I believe, reversed and, and not on an angle swastika. And I get, I get the school kids all the time, they see that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, it was an Indian symbol before it was, you know, decided it was cool. Uh, you'll notice there are soldiers here with helmets on. There's two here, and then there's two down here. Does everybody see them? Okay, originally, before Evan repainted the ceiling, they were, they looked the same. They were the same guy, just staring at each other. Well, Evan decided that they should be somebody. So basically, this guy here is P. Michael Collins, our recently retired city manager. <laughs> this guy over here is Bill Shaw, our recently retired theater manager. And down here, this uh, this guy over here is John Stephen McGrory out in the lobby. And of course, last but not least, that's Evan, the guy that painted the scene. How, how self-serving is that? I thought I should be up there, but I didn't get it, so uh, I lost. So all of that is all of that is plaster. There is no wood up there at all. It's all plaster over over wire mesh. It's then distressed to look like wood. All of the big square grills, such as the ones right above us, they're all plaster. You look at it from the other side. They've got horse hair. They've got straw. I mean, they're real old school. Old school construction. Our, our main walls on the outside, as you can see, the doors of the box seats are three feet plus of adobe. Now they're not holding up the building. Don't panic. Uh, they're, they're basically just holding up the outer, the outer roof. These big pillars here that you see that have the green decoration that continue up to those, those are all green big steel presses that are holding up the whole building. And it stayed up during the 87 earthquake, so 